Ever think that being rich means showing off your blinks, driving a fancy car, and rocking designer wear 24-7? Turns out, most rich folks are actually pretty low-key. They're all about that quiet rich vibe, opting for a simple t-shirt and jeans over flashy labels. Why? Because looking broke is what helped them get rich in the first place. In this video, we'll spill the beans on why embracing the poor look mindset could be your ticket to the big bucks. Let's dive in. If you're trying to be rich by looking rich, you're taking example from the wrong crowd. The problem is people who aren't rich and want to be rich are only copying one of two people. The people who are also poor but look rich, all their stuff paid with credit cards. Or they copy that small percentage of rich people who are status signaling on social media, which may not be the behavior that made those people rich in the first place. Those who want to become rich do not realize that most rich people are not actually visible that most rich people would actually look like an everyday person you see on the street. Take Warren Buffett, for example. Yeah, I would say that in terms of the index fund, I would, I would just take a very broad index. I, I, would, I would take the S&P 500. One of the wealthiest people in the world. He's lived in the same modest home he purchased for $31,000 in 1958 for 65 years. He knows and often preaches that to be wealthy, you need to be frugal. Appearing rich does not really matter when it comes to wealth. What really matters is what the ATM could spit out when you want to withdraw cash. Acting rich will get you nowhere. If you want to be wealthy, you need to get to the point where you don't really care about how people perceive you. You don't have to prove to anybody that you have wealth. Looking rich will attract you unwanted attention. Not only might you get robbed, I think that the worst is you might attract fake friends. So don't copy the wrong crowd. Don't attract the wrong people around you. Be strong-minded. Think for yourself and don't worry about what others may think of you when it comes to looks and owning material things. It's fun to not look rich and actually be rich. Let others think you are a simple, poor person. It's the best strategy. Rich people don't care about looking poor. They don't care about looking rich. They don't really care about what you think. That's the sort of mentality you need to get rich. Rich people have no concern about what they look like to other people. Secondly, Looking poor will shift your mindset towards using money to make more money. After you wear jeans and t-shirts for a while, you get used to it. The people who like you for being you will not mind your attire and will stick around. Then you start to realize, why on earth was I spending so much on these material things? Looking poor on purpose just changed your mindset to stop wasting money on unnecessary things. You no longer want to keep up with the Joneses. By not wasting your money on unnecessary things, you now have more in reserve. And do you know what the rich do with money they have in reserve? They make the money work for them to make more money, as opposed to working themselves for money. Poor people, on the other hand, think of money as a tool to pay bills and as their time as something to spend to get cash by working. And then spending the cash they earn from work on material things when they're not working to make them happy and distress from work. If they want to look good, they'll sacrifice paying a bill to look good by buying that new pair of sneakers and don't mind paying interest on the bill later. The middle class think of money as something to spend to enhance their credit score so they can get more credit to go out and buy more stuff. They also think of their time as something to spend to get more money and their days off to be used for retail therapy, to de-stress from work, from their demanding managers. So they go out buying the latest sneakers and Louis Vuitton bag, all on credit as a way of enjoying their weekend. The rich, on the other hand, look at money as a tool to be used to make more money by investing in shares, real estate, businesses, any sort of income generating assets. They don't really care about how they look. They want to use their money to make more money. They know that their time is the most valuable commodity and not money. You can always make more money, but you can never make more time. So they prefer to make money work for them, to buy back their time so they can get to financial freedom, freedom from a nine to five, freedom from a boss, 
and buy all the other freedoms. If you make it your mission to look poor, all the money that you were instead going to use on fancy cars, fancy vacations, so you can post pictures on Instagram, fancy meal with friends, all that money can instead be invested for your future, so you can one day have true time freedom every single day. Instead of freedom for a month from a job you hate by going on vacation, but then needing to go back to that job after the holidays are over. Looking poor will prevent you from taking unnecessary debt. Making it your duty to look poor will stop you from taking on board unnecessary debt, like car loans and credit card debt. Rich people's wealth is not tied up in fancy clothing, shoes, brand new cars, stuff that basically go down in value. Their wealth is tied up in equity, in stuff that is growing in value. Their money is making more money for them. Get unfancy cars, get unfancy clothes, take unfancy vacations, pay off your debt, get an emergency fund, be invested in the stock market via low-cost ETFs on a regular, consistent basis without touching those investments for years and years and years to come. This way of living allows you to save and invest the surplus so that your money compounds over time. Here's a bonus about looking poor. People won't ask you for money because you look like you've got none. By looking rich instead of being rich, you're forfeiting your future money without realizing it. A dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow if the dollar today is properly invested. A dollar borrowed today will mean that you're paying more than a dollar back in the future due to the interest that you need to pay on top. If you keep borrowing to finance a life of extravagance, it may look like you can pay the bills and the interests coming through to you today. What's not visible to you is the extra money that you're actually paying in interest and the money that you are potentially losing by not investing. Here is an example. Let's say you find a car that will make you look rich, that costs 70K. You go to the bank, you present proof of your steady paycheck. The bank says, yep, you make enough for us to give you a loan for this car that you want at 8% interest per year. All you need to do is make a small monthly payment of about $513 over the next 30 years. When the 30 years are over, you would have paid off the car and it will be all yours. With that proposal from the bank, after 30 years, you've ended up paying about $185,000 back to the bank, much more than double the original price of the car. After 30 years, the car is now basically worth nothing if you've driven it a lot every day. Since you got a fancy car, you would have had to service it at the dealer's garage you got it from to, for example, keep the insurance on it. And those service would usually be more expensive than standard garage's price. Let's assume it was $1,000 for the service each year, which is not unreasonable. Over 30 years, that's 30K. Therefore, the true cost of the car, not even including petrol ends up being 215,000. That's 215,000 out of your pocket. If you had invested 70k at 8% per annum, which is about the average of the stock market over the 30 years, you would have ended up with about 765,000. See the difference there? Losing 215k vs making 760k. True wealthy people don't forfeit their future money for today's look. It's expensive to look rich. Not only does it cost you a lot of money to make it look like you have money, it also costs you a lot of time to go buy all this fancy stuff. It costs you a lot of energy that you could be spending somewhere else more productive, trying to keep up with what other people have, trying to look like them, trying to fit in, causes a lot of unnecessary stresses including stress that comes about for having to pay interest on the money you borrowed to acquire luxury goods so you can keep up with the Joneses. And as we saw, it also costs you a lot of future money. $10,000 you spend to look good today will make you pay back to the bank $26,000 out of your pocket if you borrowed it at 8% interest per year over 30 years, as well as losing on the return on investment of about $100,000 you could have had if you invested the $10,000 
and it compounded at a similar rate of return of 8% per annum in the stock market over 30 years. As example, how to truly be wealthy instead of looking wealthy? You'll need to look at money as a tool to grow more money, as opposed to a tool for you to go out and buy more stuff, or to just pay the bills, or to improve your credit score so you can get more credit. The trick would be to live a lifestyle way below your means. Then take the extra cash you save and use it to grow your money by investing. This strategy buys time freedom over the long run. It means you could have your time back to do whatever you like. Work on cool projects. Build businesses you want to build to have impact. Or make more money if that's your thing. Spend time with family. The sky is the limit. However, remember, wealth building takes time. If you've enjoyed this video, you're going to love this video up here, which is about three categories of ETFs that you could invest in for life and receive pretty good returns over the long run.